हेलो व्यूवर्स सो वेलकम टू मोजो फॉर इंडस्ट्री एंड वी आर इन द सिटी ऑफ एसपेल कैंप स्ट्रेटेजिकली लोकेटेड नियर हैनोवर इन जर्मनी एंड देयर वी हैव द फैसिलिटी ऑफ वर्ल्ड रेनोड कनेक्टर मैन्युफैक्चरर दैट इज हर्टिंग सो सो वेलकम टू मोजो फॉर इंडस्ट्री इट्स माय प्लेजर थैंक्स बीइंग हियर राइट so uh, if, if you can just give us a bit background about the factory and what all you manufacture the main factory we producing heavy duty connectors for yeah mainly for the machinery industry for the wind industry for transportation uh, railway systems uh, but also for data center that that's all the connectors we do from from very flexible and uh, a small current up high to to huge current uh, huge ampere um, a variety of a uh, couple of thousands uh, connector variants we do in that factory right uh, i got to know that you develop around 52 variants uh, and having the 23 steps of uh, manufacturing yeah we have we have developed a new production technology actually based on what henry ford has done yeah it's a classical one piece flow 23 processing steps but we do it for 52 variants complete different products um on a uh, variants of one product group and the machine does the setups on its own so which means uh, setup time is zero the setup costs are, are zero so we can produce from uh, variant number 1 252 and backwards without uh, any additional costs but we also of course can produce 10000 of the one variant but it doesn't matter and uh, you know to develop this 52 variants you need resources but we got to know that you have lots of autom- automated solutions digitalizations in this factory could you tell us more about that the production technology that that's uh, the trick is to be new is to be fully automated fully digitalized um, and we are really happy having the harting applied technology in in our company uh, that is a group which of people that, that take care of developing new machines developing new automation technologies like been picking like like other technologies we have and also providing the software for having a 23 step processing line that's uh, the software development is as complicated as actually the hardware and and that project right. and it took us something like 3 three and a half years from the first idea to get the the thing materialized So when you have a fully digitalized factory a smart one you develop lots of you generate lots of data so what do you do with the data what sort of big data analytics you have the first uh, very easy uh, thing is we have uh, some threshold applications when the compressed air uh, and the flow is too high we get an alarm so we immediately recognize that there might be a defect on the pneumatic cylinder or that we have a leakage flow yeah this uh, is saving uh, us a tremendous amount of energy because uh, typically a compressed air leakage is detected too late we have another application something on the turning machines that allows us to know what how is the wear of the tools in the turning machine uh, to replace it in time and not before something happened we also have the first algorithms uh, showing us uh, are, is the process stable are we producing exactly in the same process window we have done at the last time that article was on that machine which helps us uh, finding out instabilities and uh, finding quality issues before they even uh, are visible in the product the self optimizing factory is something we have in our mind we have done the first step the digital twin is almost there and um, and so i'm very much looking forward for the next years we are expecting a tremendous uh, increase in um, yeah productivity right. right this uh, safe digital factory adapting digital twin how this helps in you no know, uh, increasing productivity as well as lowering the production cost yeah it's, it's actually lean green and digital goes hand in hand yeah? you have to have a lean process otherwise the digitalization doesn't make sense you have to be lean then you have to digitalize and that's empowering you uh, finding out whether a new tool concept is really being faster and better like expected whether it's saving energy if you don't know how much energy the new tool concept is giving to you then you don't know how uh, is it the right one or should i should i do it in the future exactly the same way or not uh, so that's the first step it's it's helping us a lot finding the right uh, right tool uh, and and helping us with much less effort having the full data transparency this is uh, uh, somehow helps in you uh, know improving the quality and maintaining the quality as well very very important thing Yeah, quality before cost. So quality actually is the main driver in, in operations. You can produce much cheaper when quality doesn't matter. But being now uh, in the comfortable situation, having the quality data in the system and the machine data, combine it um, and uh, get alarms when something is not in the right way. And um, yeah, optimizing quality inspection is also something that 
it's not that usual in those days, even those days. Uh, so many quality inspections done manually, you look at the things. Here and there you have cameras, but the cameras have to be taught, which is quite expensive. And, and having the one and only system that, that completely says, no, we do quality automated, it's not existing yet. And this is also something we are, we are putting a lot of effort in. Wherever possible, we measure automated, we have the data digitalized in the system, and then we can combine the quality data and the machine data. And this is a real insight where we see, ah, the process is good or bad. Just to conclude, I, we know that you have created lots of, uh, I think has created a few world records in that uh, factory work. Can you reveal those? We, we're doing so many processing steps, uh, uh, like like the aluminium die casting, zinc die casting, injection molding, turning, milling, powder coating, whatever. Yeah, and, and I said in the turning department, uh, we have the one or the other world record uh, in, um, in many, many terms, uh, but I leave it like it is. Uh, we are proud to have it. So there you have it, uh, no hurting manufacturing facility that is creating the smart connectors with smart people, with smart technologies. Thank you so much for joining us. Great talking to you, sir. Thank you for your kind words. <laughs> right, Thanks right, a lot. Right, it was right, a pleasure sir. having you here. Hello viewers, I'm Neha Wagle. If you liked watching this video, don't forget to hit the like button and share it with your friends. And make sure to subscribe to our channel and follow us so you never miss any of the latest industrial news from around the country and the world. Stay connected with us and keep watching Mojo for Industry for all the latest updates.